put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. But hey, if the video is just too long for you to watch, chances are I recorded a shorter version and the link will be in the description box. It's not an inferior video, it's merely a Cliff's Notes version of this very video. Stock and two smoking barrels. Movie review. Ed, Tom, Bacon and Soap are four small-time hustlers with different schemes to make money. They've just earned up 25 grand each. Together that makes the 100 grand entry fee for the big card game with Hatchet Harry. Fortunately, Ed, or Eddie, is a rather prolific card player. So what they're hoping is that he'll win and they'll be, you know, home free. They'll have a lot of money from this. Unfortunately, Hatchet Harry doesn't play by the rules. And basically they end up owing him a lot of money, and Hatchet Harry is not a man that you want to owe money. And so they try to find a way to repay him. They get one week, you know, they're being generous. So, yeah, they have to come up with some way to raise a lot of money, and... In amongst all of this, there is a massive amount of high-class weed. The wealth of profit that such brings with it. And two antique rifles, which are worth a lot of money. And there are various factions that want... Well, obviously, one or more of these items because, you know, it's worth a lot. And they change owners a couple of times over the course of it. This is kept, you know, th this keeps moving very much in the way that, you know, there's, there is a development, there is a twist that you didn't see coming. You know, it actually very much follows the law that nature abhors a vacuum. So obviously when these four guys get money from somewhere, then it's missing from somewhere else. And that somewhere else might not be too happy that it's gone missing. This is set entirely in this, you know, kind of... I think it's like a specific part of London. The DVD cover calls it... East End. I don't know a lot about Britain, sorry. But it is this environment where basically just everyone is big or small time criminal, you know. And the movie really <laughs> brings that forth in that just everyone is looking out for themselves and willing to break the law and, you know, it uses a lot of the slang. If you're not terribly familiar with, like, British slang, you might want to watch this with subtitles, just in case. Or you're actually going to have trouble following what's going on. It's, you know, it is essentially a gangster film, gangster comedy, although, well, when you put it like that, it actually sounds, like, really goofy. And it's not particularly, it's a very kind of guy's comedy, you know. But it's kept, you know, it's very much about the dialogue and these kind of, yeah, the, the twists and turns that, you know, keep things from quite being resolved, you know, everyone wants 
one or more of these items for either themselves or whoever they have to get them to, you know, whoever they owe it to, and yeah. The... We get some really great characters that somehow, in spite of a lot of, like, machismo and such, they're actually fairly distinct, you know. I'm not entirely sure how I would describe them so that comes across, but just, you know, you have several of these real hard asses, you know. Hatchet Harry, who's... And I guess you could say that he... He doesn't necessarily say that much. He doesn't really waste his breath saying too much. You've got his, I don't know, right-hand man, enforcer kind of guy. Was it Barry the Baptist or something like that? And, yeah, he's called the Baptist because he likes to drown people. And, yeah, he's just, he's a great type. I don't even know how to describe him. He's just, you gotta see him to, it's just, a lot of fun. You've got this Samoan, I guess he's supposed to be. He was like, he's got this little afro, and he's like, he doesn't say that much. And when you just look at him, he's got like this just teddy bear appearance, you know. He just, he looks like, you want to hug him, you know. And then when he actually starts talking, and when he like gets down to business, he is just psycho, you know, and the the four main criminals, they have character traits that really, you know, I mean, it's a movie of a lot of characters, actually, but somehow everyone gets at least some time and some, yeah, defining characteristics, you know, Tom is very much about the, the money, you know, he's he kind of stingy, basically. You know, Eddie is kind of foolish, you know. He doesn't necessarily think things entirely through. Soap is like... He's like sort of the quiet guy, but then when you get down to it, there's something buried underneath that surface that you just really don't want to see come out. Now, let's see, that leaves bacon... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to describe him. He's played by Jason Statham. It's actually kind of funny. The cover, both sides of the cover do not mention Jason Statham's name. But following this and Snatch, he got really popular, you know. So, I don't know. I guess when this DVD came out, they had no idea that that, you know, was going to happen. I guess, it, anyway, the acting is great, you know. Again, there's just the, the types in this. It's really very much about just these, you know, different types of London criminals, you know. And yes, Vinnie Jones is in this, and he is just priceless, you know. He is awesome, and just, and it's actually kind of funny. He's, his character is Big Chris, and he has this son called Little Chris. And it's like, the one thing he cares more about than making a score is Little Chris. So, you know, nobody messes with Little Chris. And it's like... There's this hilarious running gag with how pretty much every time Little Chris opens his mouth, he cusses. And each time, Big Chris says, you know, he, he like, chews him out for it, you know, but it keeps happening still. And Vinnie Jones is as he needs to be. He's an enforcer, you know. That is, that is how you cast that man. The music is great, you know, it's this really kind of catchy, very smooth kind of, I'm not a music t person, but yeah, it's just, it, it really fits, it's very smooth, and the visuals of this, you know, Guy Ritchie really loves you know, this kind of, you know, just playing around with, and this actually has some stuff, I was actually kind of reminded of sh something in Sherlock Holmes 2 in this, you know, Game of Shadows. But, yeah, it's just really great with the angles and the editing, some stuff is like sped up, some is slowed down, very stylish, and really captures the mood and sort of I don't know, it keeps you really interested, you know, you just, you don't want to miss a second of it. 
it's it's a visual feast. There's this scene where you know some characters are getting drunk and you just you and just going completely wild and you just really get into it. You know, you can really tell that they're having fun and you know you wish you were there with them. The I suppose that pretty well covers it. But yes, the the film is mainly you know dialogue driven and it's very much a comedy. You know, there's a good amount of tension and it's it's also a quite violent film, but it's it's not really an action film though I suppose you could call it a thriller. But most of all, it's very very funny and very very kind of just you know, you're you're trying to keep track of wait. That item is there, and now this person or this group is going for it because of the. You know, you you really have to pay attention to actually follow it. You might want to watch it more than once, and it's definitely it definitely holds up to multiple viewings, and it really is. You know, for for a while, you're just wondering how the how is this even going to end? You know, who's going to end up with what, and what's going to happen? You know. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.